Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 22 of Daryl20's Let's Play Enigmatica series, where today I would like to check out the Dimensional Mine Shaft from Occultism. Um, so we've been playing with Occultism uh, a lot the last few episodes, so this is probably the last episode that we'll be doing that, and we'll check in on a different mod for a little bit, and maybe we'll come back to Occultism, we will see. Um, but I definitely want to check out this Dimensional Mineshaft thing, because it looks cool. My understanding is that it's basically like a Void Miner, but we're going to find out. Uh, so to get started, we might need... Well, I don't know, we might need a few other of these ritual bowl things, would be my thoughts. Oh good, inventory these things. I was wondering when that would happen. Uh, so let's see, we've got Spirit Attuned Crystal for Dimensional Mineshaft. Um, and Book of that, Gold, and four other stone. Look at me being all prepared. Look at me being all prepared. And you. And you. And that should be it. I think that's it. I think that's all there is to it. Boop. Mm, maybe not. Four other stone. The spirit attuned crystal. Block of his name and gold ingot. Yes. Unknown ritual. Is my whatchamacallit stuff set up wrong? Is this the wrong ritual? I think this is the right one. Uh, Cause I need Striger's Higher Binding. That's the four crystals with the four purples and then the two, yeah. What are we missing? What indeed are we missing? Oh, there's a... How did you go missing? There's a chalk missing. How did that happen? That's interesting. <sighs> hey, now we're going. Starting, started binding Ginny to dimensional mine shaft. Cool. All right. So that's step one of the process is we need a dimensional mine shaft, which I think is the block component of this, if we want to be Minecraft technical, right? Uh, so I think there's a block and an entity... Uh, though I'm not 100% sure if the entity actually comes out. Uh, we need the ore miner, there's the foliot and the Ginny version of them. I want to get both just to check them out. Um, because I, it sounds cool. So can I make a Ginny book real quick? I can. I can. That looks cool. Book of Binding Foliot Bound. Oh, we can already use, we already have one. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll snag that. That sounds good. All right, so you are slowly but surely uh, doing the, the ritualistic thing and, and summoning the djinn or whatever it is. So I'm not sure if it's djinn or jinny because there is an eye on the end and I'm not used to seeing an eye on the end. So I'm probably mispronouncing it and everybody's yelling at me in the comments, but that's pretty normal. Let's come back when this is done crafting because it looks like it's going to be a minute or two. All right, if, uh, if my eyes do not deceive me, I believe that the very last uh, component of this summoning ritual is complete, and we should be getting the Dimensional Miner now, which is cool, uh, in theory. Let's go Sacrificial Bowl. You can do it. I believe in you. So by the way, time in a bottle. Uh, I used that to get some more cactus, because we were desperately low on cactus. And uh, let me tell you, hey, look, it's finished. Hooray. Sweet. Dimensional, dimensional mineshaft. Um, I found that I think using, if you get it up to 256x speed, which is what I clocked it to, it uses a full hour of stored time. So I really don't have that much stored time. It looks like I have a lot of stored time. I used an hour just now. That's a lot. Uh, a couple miners delights. Hooray. I just wind up putting all this junk into the refined storage system and I'll deal with it at some point in the future. Um, so now that we've got that cooking, What is, oh, I'm like, what's this weird noise that I'm hearing? And it's my little buddy, who I very much appreciate, but also stop taking my stuff. But also stop taking my stuff. I'm just putting you away now. I'm just putting you away. I'll make another 
of those if I need to at some point in the future. Just stop taking my stuff. That's all I ask. All right, so now let's get the gen that will do the mining. So I want to do the, the foliot version first and see how that works. And then I'm going to get the Ginny one. Now, why does he have a lower dur Oh, I think his durability was boosted in this pack. So the durability will update as soon as we do one mining iteration of him. Isn't that what the quest said for the... Yes. Until the miner loses the first one durability in the mine shaft. So the first time he loses durability, we will see the durability improve. Sweet. So let's check out this mine shaft. Uh, so the dimensional mine shaft, I'm just going to plop it down somewhere. Um, let's put it over here-ish. Ooh, that's cool. It's totally got the little star field effect in there, which is neat. Um, so now my understanding is it basically is going to accumulate stuff. Uh, and we need to pipe it out from either the bottom or the sides. And into the top goes the gin that we're going to be dealing with. So the first version of this, the Foley Hot one, is going to need an empty magic lamp, gravel, iron ore, and an Isnium pickaxe. So we'll get that Isnium pickaxe we made earlier. Gravel. And I'm assuming that when you say iron ore, you'll accept the iron chunk, but we can also just get iron ore from iron chunk, so that's easy peasy. Um, and then the lamp. We need an empty magic lamp that looks easy enough it needs an isnia mingot sweet okay cool so and then this one is made in ezephius's spectral doohickey that's the two yellows with the have i made that one before i may not have made this one have i not made this one it doesn't look like i made this one right no wait wait is it this one it's this one this is it no is it? Yes. The, this is the one. Yes, this is the one. It's just missing the the purple crystals and the and the candles. So we can make this happen. I'm just gonna beg, borrow, and steal. Let's actually visualize this real quick. Boop. Now we know for sure how everything goes. Candles. Definitely borrowing these crystals, because remember, they're four diamonds each, so they're a little bit pricey. Boop. Excellent. Now, we will do you, 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 you. And we want the Foliot version of the book, which is this guy. <sighs> Summoning Foliot into Magic Lamp. Cool. I like the Magic Lamp thing. That's neat. And then while that's going, I'm going to prepare to get the Ginny version of that, or the Gin version of that. So we need uh, a few diamonds and a few other things. Cool. Okay, that's you. And then we need another Isnium pickaxe. And another Isnium block. And a gold or or chunk either one will work either one will work and another empty magic lamp though i don't know why that was that okay cool so this one needed five items right yes and then the gin book okay cool that should work excellent now how are you doing over here buddy hey we got our magic lamp cool all right now while while we wait for We're gonna need to borrow you. Actually, no, wait. Um, because I assume this needs to be done in Striker's higher binding. Yes. So we don't make this here. Uh, we make that back there. So we're gonna relocate this stuff again. Boop. On the boop. So now we can compare, you know, the difference between the slow one and the fast one. So this will be the slow one. We're now crafting the fast one. And also, not for nothing, I get some quest rewards for doing this, like a bunch of experience and an Isnium block and some more Miner's Delight. Yay! Cool. And then this will complete the next quest. 
So I think technically I could have just skipped to the Gen one rather than doing the Foliot one, but quest rewards, right? Right. Look at all this stuff. Perfect. Now that should be about done crafting there. Um, so as soon as that pops off, we'll check out the, the mining thing. At least I think so. Now I might want a hopper of some kind, so let's just get one of those real quick. I love that the two wood recipe is in this pack. It's literally my favorite. All right, War Miner Ginny. Sweet. Now that's gonna give me an Occultism Legendary and a Miner's Delight. That's more Isnium blocks and more Miner Delights. Awesome. Okay, so let's try it with the Foliot one first. And what I'm thinking is we'll just get like a nice little chest that will stick here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna wanna, I'm gonna hold off on hoppering yet. Uh, now what I read in the book is that if you let this thing fill up its internal buffer, which I assume is this, it's going to start voiding items after it's full. So basically like if you fill up all the inventory slots here, any new items show up, start getting voided. So you definitely wanna hop her out of this thing, but let's just check out how this works out. So uh, the, the uh, foliot here is a thousand. So do I just put that in there? And then you start, ooh, particle effects, that's a good sign, right? Okay, cool, look at that, there's the little progress bar, sweet. And I assume, would it, is it safe to assume that every time it mines one, it's gonna use a durability? Is that a safe assumption? Why, yes it is, haha, -ha, look at that, and we got an aluminum chunk, sweet. Now let's try the faster one, because yeah. Because yeah, or miner Jin, he don't seem all that much faster, does he? A little bit faster, but not a ton. Oh, now his durability is 5,000. Okay, cool. Well, that's neat. Yeah, 5,000 durability. Oh, and he mined two things. He mined two things. Okay, cool. That's neat. That's neat. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that that's how he's faster. He literally mines two things at once rather than one thing at once. Okay, cool. So we can absolutely just hopper this thing into here, and that should be sufficient, right? That looks pretty good. Maybe I should make this a gold chest. There's no reason not to, because um, we're pretty groovy on chests at the moment. So that's cool. All right, dimensional mine shaft. And that's not bad. That's, that's a little bit not terrible. Um, Free resources, that, that's literally just gonna sit there and accumulate a bunch of resources. That is it. 100% just gonna sit there and free resources. I mean, at least until the Ginny thing dies and then, you know, we're gonna be in trouble. But that was pretty cool. We're gonna have to make another one, that's all. Not a huge deal, honestly. Sweet. All right, let's see what else occultism has to offer at this point. So I'm, I'm, I'm flipping through the, the book here on the crushers, and I don't think I noticed anywhere where it indicates that higher tier crushers give you more resources, just that they're faster. However, when I was flipping through these chapters, I found in the quest book, it says the Afric Crusher is even more powerful than its gin counterpart, providing more dust per ore and at a faster rate. And the Marid Crusher is the top ore multiplier in the Occultist Arsenal. The Spirit will provide four dust for each ore crushed and at an incredibly fast rate. So I'm actually super interested in trying out the Marid one. Now, that said, we're gonna to need to get Red Chalk, which is a whole progression line here. That's not gonna to be too bad. And I'm questioning whether I wanna like waste my time doing the Afrit Crusher quest because this one is just de facto better and I don't see a reason to go through this one. So I'm probably gonna skip this guy and go straight to Marid. Uh, and then I also want to quickly check out the dimensional storage actuators if we can, just to see what those look like, because they look kind of, it's like a, it's like a refined storage system, but like magical based. Um, I don't think it's, I want to say it's not quite as automatable as refined storage or applied energistics, but it's very similar in guise, I believe. So we're going to figure it out. Uh, so first things first, we're going to need a book of binding Afrit. In order to summon more powerful spirits, you'll need Afrit Essence. 
Uh, this essence can only be acquired by summoning an unbound Afrit spirit to the mortal plane and defeating it. This, however, is no easy task, as the Afrit is strong and will summon multiple minions to fight alongside it. Defeat the Afrit to claim its essence. Um, so in order to do this, we need a Book of Binding Afrit and the Afrit essence. So let's look through this book and figure out how that works. Um... Possessed Enderman, Afric Crusher, Afric Essence. Here we go. Um, so we need Abra's Open Convecture, we need an Afric Bound Book, and we need to sacrifice a cow. Cool. And we need Netherrack, Nether Quartz, Flint and Steel, and Gunpowder. Um, so we need to then craft that into Red Chalk. Alright, so this is the ritual we need to do. Abra's Open Conjecture, which I don't think we have yet. Um, it looks like, are those? Those might be Wither Skeleton Skulls. All right, those might be Wither Skeleton Skulls. So we're gonna wanna be prepared for that. So here is look good. Hey. Trying to place things carefully here, Mr. Skeleton. So yeah, I'm pretty sure those are Wither Skeleton Skulls. I don't know if we've done much by Wither Skeletons yet. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a way to summon a Wither Skeleton with Occultism. Alright, so here's a slightly different ritual, which I believe is going to summon for me Wither Skeletons. Uh, and like the skeletons from the other ritual, these Wither Skeletons are guaranteed to drop Wither Skeleton Skulls, which sounds cool to me, right? So we're going to need some white and purple chalk. We might need more white chalk soon. Mm. I misclicked. Okay. We might also need a nap soon. Okay, what am I missing here? These three. And then the centerpiece, which would be you. And we'll, can I? Eh, ish. I'm being very careful not to break the grass underneath because I was vein mining it. I'm like, I'm just being a little lazy and saving myself one extra mine. But if I hit the grass underneath, it's going to be a giant mess that nobody's going to... Well, everybody's going to laugh at that. I think everybody would have appreciated that failure on my part, but... Not me. All right, what do we got here? So if I want to do Wither Skeleton Skulls, it's one, two, three, four, five, six resources that we're gonna need to pop on this dude. So let's be prepared for that. I'm just gonna put down all eight, whatever. It's all good. Um, so we're gonna need copper, silver, gold blocks. Copper. Silver. Wow, we are. In, I'm. We're not low on silver. We have a lot of silver chunks, gold blocks, and I know I saw diamond in there. Okay, uh, netherrack soul sand. Perfect. So that would be you. Okay, and then the book that we need to put in there. Activate Skeleton Skull, Sacrifice Player or Villager. Oh, really? <laughs> you don't say. Uh, okay, activate with a Skeleton Skull. So that goes in the middle. Uh, and then I'm assuming that I can borrow you, little friend. Let's put you back out here. I'm gonna go visit this village don't try this at home and uh, see if I can borrow a villager Shh, borrow okay uh, we've got a, uh, a friend with us and I've got my skeleton skull so in theory we activate you 
Now he's waiting for his sacrifice. <coughs> Sorry, friend. And now we've got purple particle effect, so that's a good sign. I'm assuming that, oh yes, things are happening. We'll be back when it's closer to done. Now, I'm purposely not having my thing equipped. Now, let's just hope that we're lucky enough that this is not a terrifying thing. This might summon several. It does summon. Wow, lots of friends, lots of friends. Wow, that is a lot of friends. Holy cow, is that a lot of friends. That is a lot of friends, my friends. How much health do you guys have? My goodness. That is a lot more friends than I wanted to have. Look at all the arrows everywhere, it's hilarious. Eating more vegetable curry. Oh, not what I meant to click. Hey, what happened to my what now? Ah, rip. Hopefully they're still out there. I think they are, yes. Cool. Just trying to heal a little bit. Obviously my armor broke a little bit too, so that's not ideal. Gotcha, Chief. Nice, two Wither Skeleton Skulls already, perfect. I was hoping that my uh, fortune would be a little bit fortunate. I probably should have made like a shield before I did this, but it's dire, so I don't like shields. I'm not a fan of shields, don't ask me why. I just don't love them. They take up too much screen real estate. Wow, that was a lot of things. Holy cow. All the things that dropped. We got three Wither Skeleton Skulls, though, so... We got that going for us, which is nice. Alright. Only one death. What is this? Steel Leggings, Curse of Vanishing, Projectile Protection, and... Sweet. Alright, cool. Cool, all the things. All right, nice. Now we've got two Wither Skeleton Skulls, so we should be good to now... This is the one that will summon the demon that'll allow me to get Aphrodescence, yes. Okay. So let me borrow a couple of you. See, that's what I'm talking about. Had that been vein mining mode, it would have been a bad time for everyone involved. Just saying. Maybe that's what happened to my, that might've been what happened to my thing. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll deal with it when we have to... We might... We. I think that literally the only thing that you can do is summon Withered Skeletons with that ritual. Um, some of these rituals, like I said, only have one use. Like this one, the only use of it is the Aphrodescence. Um, so, yeah. We're going to need some candles as well for this one. Okay. Didn't I have multiples of those dudes? I thought I had two of them. It's making me slightly uncomfortable. Oh, one's on my head. Okay. <laughs> Broken armor. Yes. Okay. I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. 
Alright, and then a bunch of candles, which shouldn't be a problem for me, really. We're just gonna have to collect them from all the different areas. I've been really, uh... reusing my candles for this bit. Perfect! Alright, cool. Alright, so now, uh... Abra's open conjecture makes the effervescence. Nether rack, nether quartz, flint and steel, and gunpowder. Nether rack, nether quartz, flint and steel. I'm gonna make a new one. And gunpowder. Cool. And then uh, we wanted the Afrit book, is that right? Book of Binding Afrit. So the Afrit book is purple dye, which is going to be blue and red dye, yes? Yeah, so let's get some blue. Do we have any red dye? We have enough for four purple dye. Looks like we're going to need a little bit more black dye cooked up into ink. Cool. Okay, Book of Binding Afrit, nice. And then we combine these two, and he should be ready to... Now this might be another battle, so we want to make sure we have food ready. And maybe, just maybe, I should get some more Osmium gear. Maybe, just maybe, I should get better than Osmium gear at some point, but, you know, it's dire. I know what I'm doing. I just want a full set. I, I didn't want my gear to break mid-fight. We knew that was going to happen, right? So let's make sure it's daytime so that no other mobs show up while I'm fighting this thing, whatever it is. And then we'll see how it goes. Cool? Okay. So, let's do it. All right, we need to sacrifice a cow. Uh, we need to find a cow. And then we need to sacrifice said cow. I figured while I'm out looking for cows, I might as well pick up sheep, too. Look at this weird structure I found. It's just a lamppost that says 400 BL, and it's, like, pointing in this direction? 400 blocks in this direction? Maybe? Oh. I'm just looking for a cow. That's all I need is a cow. I feel like... I feel like... The spawning of passive mobs is definitely lower than I'm used to. Um... And the weird and the, the 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 trick is is that on account of there being so many other kinds of passive mobs, um, you wind up not getting as many cows, right? Because there's other things wanting. But still, it's all good. Those are not cows. Is this it? Has this been 400 blocks already? Is this what it was pointing me at? I don't know. This looks like a thing to explore later. thingy to explore. That's how I'll remember it. Cows, anyone? Look at this interesting structure. There's a crying obsidian sitting on top of a mob spawner, sitting on top of a loot chest. Ooh, enchanting table. Don't mind if I do. The secrets of enchanting. Who is cutting onions? What's that one for? Obtain crying... Oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Anyway, still looking for cows. This might be worse than my search for chickens. It just might be. I've found pandas, but I still ain't found no cows. I found some pigs. I found a zombie and some creepers. Ain't no cows, though. Ain't no cows. It's actually starting to get a little ridiculous. But... If I don't find some soon, I'll figure something else out. Is there a way to summon cows? 
Eh, nature's aura. Maybe. Probably not. Oh look, I magically found cow spawn eggs. In JEI. I'm not even kidding you guys, I looked around for half an hour and found zero cows and I'm giving up. I literally just, I give up. <laughs> I've looked, not even exaggerating, for 30 minutes. And... I have other things to do today besides look for cows. So, uh, cows have been found in JEI. Uh, and now we're going to go finish this ritual and finish this episode. Because Dyer has other things to do today uh, besides look for cows. So, uh, let's do the thing. And now you need a cow. And then we're going to soup. And hooray. Cool. All right, so you go in there. You go away. Some other junk that we collected out and about while we were exploring can all be put in our refined storage system. That's looking good. And now this should summon the Afrit dude. Um, and... An Afrit needs to be summoned, unbound in this plane, and killed. Be warned that this is no simple endeavor. An unbound spirit presents great danger to all nearby. Okay. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Uh, so we're gonna do the thing, and I have no idea what to expect in this battle. But I'm gonna pick you up, because that sounds like a good idea. Um, so this Afrit dude should drop the, the items I need to make red chalk. And then that'll probably be the end of this episode. And maybe next episode will come up, because I think there's just a couple more things to check out in Occultism. So maybe we'll wrap up all the understanding of the mod next episode. I, I know I said this one might be the last one, but... Oh, hello, places. Hello, 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 hello. Running away now. Oh, so close, I almost got that food into me. <laughs> Ripperoni. That thing is painful, holy cow. All right, clee clee. Gotcha though. Gotcha in the end though. Yeah, no, those dudes, they hurt. Summons with a few blazes. Would you look at that? What in blazes? Ow. All the fires. Alright, so that's resolved. Oh, looks like he uh, might have started some fires in the distance there. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, let's remove our death point. Goodbye, sir. I don't, know if, I don't know if I need to hang on to these at all. The grave finders. I assume not. But hey, we got three Afrit Essence, which we can now combine with Impure White Chalk to make Impure Red Chalk. Uh, we're also going to need some Blaze Powder, which we clearly will have, and uh, that's pretty cool. However, though, it is wrapping up point for the episode, so for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll come back next time. What I want to do next episode, um, so I guess that gave me this, so that I can get my Occultism Legendary Doohickey. Ooh, I got a... Or Miner Ginny. Oh, that's nice. Another one of those. That's sweet. And Stable Wormholes. Nice. Because that was one of the things I wanted to check out. Uh, the Wild Hunt, we did that. Uh, which is going to give me... Ooh, a Book of Finding Gin. That's sweet. All right, not bad. Um, so what I want to check out next episode will be the Dimensional Storage thing and the Marid Crusher. So I want to get dimensional storage done and also check out the top tier crusher. And that will probably be everything there is to do in occultism for the most part. There's a few other things that we didn't look at. I might choose to do one or two more depending on uh, time uh, for next episode. So like next episode, I'd like to fully dedicate to occultism and then wrap up. And what are you all about over here, sir? Because uh, is this just like my home waypoint or... I don't know why you still have some form of waypoint, waypointy thing. I feel like my death waypoints are still showing. Isn't that where I just died both times? Yeah, it might be something else doing that. We'll have to figure that out. But wow, look at all the ores I found. I got ancient debris out of this thing. That's cool. Emeralds, cobalt, potassium nitrate, diamonds. Not a bad haul by any stretch. Holy cow, that is pretty awesome. So we'll figure it out uh, next episode. For now, don't my sign off. Hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy.